Imagine a traveler, Voyager 1, journeying for nearly half a century, leaving behind everything it has ever known. Its home, Earth, is now a pale blue dot, barely visible in its rearview mirror. Voyager 1 is our silent ambassador to the cosmos, sailing through the vast, dark emptiness between the stars. On December 1, 2025, it crossed into a region of space we never knew existed, a place where the rules are being rewritten. This is not just another milestone. It's a fundamental shift in our understanding of the universe. Voyager 1 is our most distant scout, pushing through the veil that separates our solar system from the great beyond. The data streaming back tells a new story, a turbulent, dynamic frontier where the sun's influence gives way to the galaxy's embrace. This little machine, powered by the slow decay of plutonium, is our only witness to this cosmic handshake. Every bit of data is a precious whisper from the abyss. It's not the smooth transition we expected, it's chaotic, frothing, and unpredictable. We are explorers standing on the shore of a new ocean, sending our bravest ship over the horizon. This discovery isn't just for scientists, it belongs to everyone. Voyager 1's journey is our journey. Its discovery is our discovery. All thanks to a lonely traveler. Before Voyager 1 was a discoverer, it was a messenger, bolted to its side is a golden record, a time capsule carrying the sights and sounds of our world. It holds greetings in 55 languages, music from Bach to Chuck Berry, and images of our science, art, and lives. Carl Sagan called it a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean, an act of profound optimism. The golden record is more than a mixtape for aliens, it's a mirror held up to ourselves. What do you choose to represent all of humanity? The team chose diversity, science, and love. The record includes the brainwaves of a young woman in love and a mother's first words to her newborn child. These are the things we deemed worthy of immortality. The record is a testament to our hopes, not just our achievements. Voyager 1 may never encounter another civilization, but the act of creating the record changed us. It forced us to think of ourselves as a single species on a shared planet. This message is traveling through a space more empty than anything we can create on Earth. For every second that passes, Voyager 1 travels another 10 miles farther from home. The golden record is protected by an aluminum cover etched with instructions and a cosmic you are here map. The chances of the record ever being found are infinitesimally small, but that was never the point. The point was the gesture, to say, we exist. As Carl Sagan said, the launching of this bottle into the cosmic ocean says something very hopeful about life on this planet. Voyager 1 carries our story, our music, and our hope into the vast silent darkness. It is the most romantic of all our scientific endeavors. It's a message to the cosmos, and to ourselves. We are here. Voyager 1's story began with a rare cosmic alignment in the late 1970s, allowing a single spacecraft to visit all four gas giants. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1's mission was to explore the outer planets up close for the first time. It revealed Jupiter's storms and active volcanoes on Io, showing us a dynamic universe. At Saturn, it unveiled the planet's rings and discovered new moons. A close flyby of Titan bent Voyager's path, sending it on a one-way journey toward the stars. Its planetary mission ended, but its interstellar mission began. In 2004, it crossed the termination shock. In 2012, it entered interstellar space, the first human-made object to do so. The Grand Tour was more than a planetary flyby. It was the first step into the unknown. Voyager 1's journey continues to surprise us. It's a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. What is Voyager 1 telling us now? The data is sparse but revolutionary. Its instruments, magnetometer, cosmic ray subsystem, plasma wave subsystem, are our senses in the void. Signals arrive at NASA's deep space network, faint but full of meaning. The magnetometer reveals a zone where the sun's and galaxy's magnetic fields clash, creating turbulence and magnetic froth. The cosmic ray subsystem detects high-energy particles behaving in unexpected ways, hinting at complex magnetic structures. Our models predicted a smooth transition but Voyager found chaos and complexity. The heliosphere, our sun's protective bubble, isn't a smooth sphere. It's dented, compressed, and warped. We're learning that our solar system interacts with the galaxy in a dynamic, sometimes violent way. Every new packet of data is a piece of a puzzle we're just beginning to assemble. 
Voyager 1 is redrawing the boundaries of our cosmic neighborhood. It's a humbling, exhilarating process. The universe is stranger than we imagined. Let's call this new region the Magnetic Highway. It's not a simple boundary, but a transitional zone with unique properties. Voyager 1's data shows a place where particles from our solar system and the galaxy travel along connected magnetic field lines. Think of it as a highway interchange, charged particles merging and diverging. This region wasn't predicted by any theory, Voyager found it simply by being there. The boundary of our solar system is not a wall, but a porous membrane, a place of connection, not just separation. This could explain why some cosmic rays penetrate deep into our solar system. The discovery forces us to rethink how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. Exploration means finding the unexpected. Voyager's robust design made this possible. As Dr. Stamatios Krimigus said, if we knew what we were going to find, it wouldn't be exploration. The magnetic highway is Voyager's latest, most profound lesson. Every age of exploration is defined by its maps. Voyager 1 is the cartographer on the front lines, forcing us to redraw the edge of our solar system. The boundary isn't a simple line, it's a vast dynamic frontier with layers and regions. The textbook model of the heliosphere is incomplete. Voyager's data shows a squashed, distorted bubble pressed by the interstellar magnetic field. The magnetic highway is just one layer, there may be more. Understanding the heliosphere is crucial. It's our shield from cosmic radiation. With Voyager's data, we can build better models and understand our cosmic environment. Our planet is part of a solar system, which is part of a galaxy, all connected. Voyager's discoveries are like finding a new continent. They change the map for everyone. The work of redrawing this map will keep scientists busy for decades, and it all started with a small, tenacious spacecraft at the edge of darkness. Discoveries like this ripple through culture, politics, and the economy. The Voyager program, born in the Cold War, now stands as a symbol of global cooperation. The Deep Space Network is an international effort. This discovery is a win for all humanity. Voyager 1 represents the power of long-term vision, outlasting political and economic cycles. Its success is a testament to sustained investment in science. The technologies developed for Voyager have influenced everything from electronics to data science. Inspiring young people to pursue STEM is one of the most powerful economic engines. Voyager's journey captures the public imagination and sparks conversations worldwide. It gives us perspective. Our daily worries seem smaller when we remember a human-made object is navigating the magnetic froth 15 billion miles away. Voyager connects us to something larger than ourselves, a shared adventure for all. Why do we explore? Why send a machine to a place we'll never visit? It's not an either-or choice. We can solve problems on Earth and reach for the stars. Exploration is a fundamental expression of who we are. From ancient migrations to crossing oceans, we've always sought the next horizon. Space is the next frontier. Exploration drives innovation and brings direct benefits back home. But it also feeds our spirit, giving us perspective and unity. Seeing Earth as a pale blue dot reminds us of our shared humanity. Voyager 1's journey unites us, no matter our differences. We explore for knowledge, technology, survival, and because it's in our nature. To stop exploring would be to deny a part of ourselves. Voyager's discovery is a call to action. There's more out there. We owe it to ourselves and future generations to answer that call. Voyager 1 won't travel forever. Its power will fade, and its voice will fall silent but its legacy is the knowledge, inspiration, and questions it leaves behind. This discovery is a beginning, not an end. We must send new explorers to follow in Voyager's path, with advanced instruments to map this new region. Missions like the Interstellar Probe are already being designed to go farther, faster. The journey of Voyager 1 is a multi-generational endeavor. Science at its grandest is a chain of knowledge, passed from one generation to the next. It requires us to think beyond our own lifetimes. Tonight, look up at the sky. Somewhere out there, Voyager 1 sails onward. It carries our hopes, dreams, and curiosity. Its journey reminds us the universe is not just to be observed, but experienced. The greatest discoveries are still ahead. The voyage has just begun.